Hello everyone, my name is Greta. Welcome to my channel. As you can see by the title, today I want to talk about milky, creamy fragrances, lactonic, which basically means milk. So I have, ooh, out of like, I don't know, six, seven hundred fragrances. I really need to count. I kind of just know the count by Fragrantica, but a lot of these brands aren't on Fragrantica, so it's actually a lot more. But out of that, I picked my favorite lactonic fragrances. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, I do love talking about fragrances. So if that's something that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be sure that you are notified when I have new uploads. And let's just get into it. Okay, so lactonic, meaning it has like a milky quality to it. Some of these have like a powdered milk and some have more of like a milky latte kind of feel to them. Um, there's a lot more than that, obviously, in my collection, but these were some of my favorites that I wanted to bring out. Now to start with, let me start with some body products from Sol de Janeiro. And if you are subscribed to me, you know I've been filling your feed on the community tab with all these promos going on so that you don't miss them because Black Friday weekend, cyber, gosh, it started with Black Friday, then it was Black Friday weekend, no, then there was Cyber Monday, then there was Black Friday week, Cyber week, like it's crazy. But they had 25% off if you went directly to Sol de Janeiro. You know my absolute favorite is the Bomdia cream and the Charissa number 40 marrying up. This is like a vanilla woods with a powdered milk kind of vibe in there. Uh, there's also like jasmine, I think, in here. There's a fruit, like plum absolutely love this one and it layers so so well with some other perfumes I'm going to talk about yeah this is just I absolutely love this one I bought a bunch of backups they had some great bundles with these this is the one this and the Behor the light pink one what I think like lychee and dragon fruit absolutely love this one though the bum dia so another option and Bath & Body Works has a bunch of sales going on too. Every weekend they're gonna be doing something different. Last weekend they had the 395 lotions. Today that I'm filming, this might go out in a couple days. Um, they have the body mists are $4 and a quarter. And then they'll have another day with the lotions. They'll have a day with obviously candle day is coming. Um, so there's all those. Now Cashmere Glow is one that I stocked up last winter. They circulate these, they have the seasons, they come back around. Sometimes they change a little bit, sometimes they don't. So when I like something, I stock up and get a couple of them. I don't need a lot because I have so much, so many different scents. But the Cashmere Glow is like a peachy, fruity, a very light floral, like a Lily of the Valley or something, along with this like vanilla mu cashmere musk base, giving it that milky quality again. This is just, I love this one. That milky cashmere musk base goes so well with so much that I have in my collection. So cashmere glow. So the first perfume that I wanna do is one that I love with Bomdia. And if you love Bomdia, you really should try Zerjoff's Soprano. This is one that I absolutely love. It is one of my favorites. This would probably, oh, I need to update my top 10 for life. like. If I narrow this down to 10, I'll do one of those. Just give me time. But Soprano. Soprano is similar to this, which I love layering these together. It has the vanilla woods. It has some dried fruits in there. It has that like um, piercing sweet tart kind of fruits in here. Um, it has this lactonic note floating around in here. It also has oud, but it's a sweet, creamy kind of oud, which really lends to that woods that you get in the bum dia. There's a touch of leather in there, but it just kind of blends with that woody oud note so, so well. But those fruits and the lactonic note, it's just so darn good. And it's the kind of fragrance that, gosh, I catch my sillage all day long. It is phenomenal for sillage. Like this... 
I, I just love it whether I'm driving or I'm out and about walking. I catch it and it's always like this beautiful little symphony of notes that I, I keep getting a snapshot of this note then a snapshot of that note and I just, I absolutely love this one. It gives me so much joy. Soprano by Zerjoff. Since I'm on Zerjoff, another one that I have is Cruz del Sur 2. A lot of people think of this in the summer, but I find it a little heavy for summer, even though it has mango in here. So it has that summery fruit, but it's actually quite a thick fragrance. It's kind of like a mango milkshake because you have that lactonic kind of vibe. Now it opens up with the fruits where you get that, you get the fresh rind and then you get like the fruit Then you've thrown it in a blender and you've added some milk and it's really the stages that it goes through. To me, it's just, phenomenal. And then you really get this nice, thick, creamy vibe around you. Now, I do highly, highly recommend trying this one before you blind buy it. It's not for everyone. For some pre people, it just doesn't work for them. I don't know if it's their nose, their skin. They seem to claim it is more their perception of it, which is so bizarre because they just get such a polar opposite kind of vibe from it. Like it just turns them off for some reason and they're not able to appreciate it. But gosh, for me, I absolutely love this one. And for the mo the majority of people, but there's a fair enough people, fair enough amount of people that it doesn't work for. But yeah, mango, it, milk thrown in a milkshake, it's thrown in a blender. Next up, um, I gotta give credit to my girl, Sharita. If you don't know her, you're probably following her already. If you're not, get on it because the girl's channel is just like blowing up. She's doing phenomenal. But Sharita and I did a little swap and let me just tell you, the girl did not fail me. Every single one she sent me was a hit with me, to be honest. I, I mean, I was like, gosh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every one I tried was just phenomenal. She's got great taste. Um, so yeah, the girl's, She's definitely not steering you wrong. So, and this is so funny because the Blanche Beat that she's talked a lot about. Now, I have a whole, whole bunch you can see here. I mean, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six of the Liquidus Imaginaires. I had tried this house. I like went through it. I heard all this great stuff about Dom Rosa. It wasn't for me. I didn't really care for it. I tried the Desert Swab, like I have these all in here and I just wasn't feeling it. And then my friend Thierry had sent me the Blanche Beat and I was like, yeah, that one's pretty cool. And then Sharita sent it and I'm like, all right, all right, I get it. Let me give it a little bit more attention. Let me try it a little bit more and a little more fully. And it's really good. It has like a nuttiness. So Blanche Beat is a very creamy, lactonic, you just kind of see white is the vibe it gives you. But I also get like this image of like a tan color weaving through it like a marbled fashion because I get this nuttiness in there. It's beautiful and it really does cling a little closer to you. But you know, I just, I find myself loving my skin and smelling my skin. It's a really good cozy fragrance. It's a good cuddling fragrance because you're just gonna smell like this plush teddy bear that you wanna cuddle up to. Um, I, I absolutely love the Blanche Beat. Between the two of them, I have a pretty good amount here, but I would get a bottle of that. I would do that. This is a really good one. So yes, Blanche Beat. And thank you, Sharita, you rock, Mwah. Yeah, I mean, I literally could have like four in here that she sent me that I could put in this video. They're all pretty darn good. Next up is newer to my collection, kind of, which is why I want to feature it because I haven't really told you about it, I don't think. And it's by Room 1015 and it's Electric Wood. I think I might have once, but I don't think the video's out yet. If you like commodity milk, you're going to love this one. And I think this is cheaper too. Um, and I have a code Greta 10 that saves you additionally. And it's like just over a hundred dollars, I think, or like a hundred dollars around there. Really, really good price. So I think it's even cheaper than commodity, but 
creamy with a little bit of spice to it. Electric wood, now there's a whole vibe to this house, room 1015. He's, he's got like this punk rock kind of theme to it. He's really into music, being edgy, not being like cliche with the fragrances or just, you know, kind of vanilla-like or like everything smells the same. He really wanted to kind of break out and be a little bit more individual-like. So this one is designed after guitars like breaking open the guitar case and then you have either your electric guitar or your wood guitar so it's electric wood but i don't know i don't personally get the like vibe of it to the guitar but that's just my me personally sometimes i'm a little obtuse but it's really a creamy with nutmeg like nutmeg when it creams out like nutmeg is phenomenal in cream sauces if you don't know like if you make an italian cream sauce like um alfredo add like just a pinch of nutmeg like that's the secret trust me and it just lends to that creaminess and this the nutmeg in here is like everything and then it has iris too but the iris in here is like a warm creamy powdery iris and that with the nutmeg just gives this lactonic kind of vibe to it but this little bit of spice the way nutmeg can be it's so so gorgeous there's a little bit of depth to it with the resins, a little bit of sweetness to it, but I definitely, definitely love this one, Electric Wood. The next one, um, this one I picked up at Scent Explore, I think like two years ago, maybe. Seriously, they have like the best steals and Scent Explore is where I really got to dive into this house because they had these amazing, phenomenal deals and I picked up like discovery kits, um, a ton of these travel sizes like I think I got like 10 of these I just kept buying these bundles of them where they had specials for like three or four of them which is where I really got to dive in and I didn't have to commit to their full-size bottles but the Mask Milano Madeleine now I think this is really funny because Madeleine the name and Madeleine also the cookie the French cookie if you know those vanilla cookies with a little bit of powdered sugar on them they have, they're kind of like a vanilla cake but really shallow my mom loves making them and this is kind of like that, but it also has this chestnut vibe in there. There's like Chantilly cream and there's vanilla, tonka, musks, along with that chestnut accord. It's super, super creamy gourmand and definitely different. The chestnut giving this nuttiness to the vibe that's just different than any other nut you might have had. But also chestnuts roasting kind of reminds me of New York City because you know, there's every street corner in December has chestnuts roasting. And that smell just really brings me into winter gourmands personally. Um, I mean, maybe that's also, you maybe roast chestnuts at home too for the holidays. So it gives that warm, cozy lactonic vibe that I really like. It's uh, definitely different. So I like that one, Madeline. One you might not think of because people tend to go in a different direction when they think of this fragrance, but it definitely has that milky vibe in there, is by Memo Paris Sintra. Now everyone thinks of this as like the orange blossom fragrance. Gosh, this one is so delicious. Oh. I have this in travel atomizers and the full one, and I'm just so over the moon with it. It definitely opens with that burst of orange. Oh, I love this one. This one uh, is only from 2020. It's fairly new, even though there's a lot in that profile with like a vanilla orange blossom, but this one goes more milky. It has that milk in there. It has marshmallow in there. It has caramel in there. It opens more citrus, but then quickly like in a minute, you start to get that marshmallow, creamy, milky marshmallow coming through with it. So it's amazing. It ends up being like an orange marshmallow, which who doesn't like that? Hello, did you hear me say marshmallow? Love marshmallow. Uh, there are some florals in here to balance it out. I think there's like some white florals, maybe um, a little bit of rose, but to me, it's really the orange blossom the citrus is the fruit, the marshmallow with a little bit of white florals in there. So, 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 so good. Seriously good. I like this a lot better than Love Don't Be Shy. Um, I feel like it's a little, the orange in here is a little bit more like orange versus 
Fruity Pebbles in Love Don't Be Shy. Don't get me wrong, I also love Love Don't Be Shy. But I find this to be cleaner, I guess, and more like a marshmallow than Fruity Pebbles. So Memo, Memo Paris Sintra. Ooh, I haven't talked about this one in a while and it is not because I have lost any love. I still love this one. I just have so many I wanna share with you and tell you about, give you my opinion on, but Zyrgios Italica. Now, gosh, it's so funny how people get different stuff from this. And I have to wonder if the older version is a little bit different than when they re-released it, when it was an exclusive, really hard to get. People were paying fortune for it, calling it the best gourmand. Then it relaunched and opened up globally. But Italica, for me, opens up like a maraschino cherry for the first 45 minutes is this really bold cherry. Then it transforms and I get this like milky toffee kind of gourmand to me. This, this one is so good. And that like the cherry that I get in the opening, which is really like a thick syrupy cherry, it kind of turns on a dime. And that cherry turns almond, like almond, Stroop waffle, vanilla, milk, milky, creamy kind of a gourmand. It's really interesting. Um, but that's my take on it. Absolutely love Italica. I mean, if you love gourmands, Italica is one you just can't go wrong with. I do want to mention one that is probably what I think is the best one of all, but unfortunately it's discontinued and I try to steer clear of featuring discontinued fragrances because it's frustrating. And I really don't think people should pay a fortune for fragrances because they're discontinued. There's so many out there. Like, look at how many I have. Honestly, I think it's ridiculous to pay a fortune for something just because it's discontinued. But the Lancome, if you stumble across it or if you have it, the Lancome, Maison Lancome, which they discontinued, but I think I then saw them launch some more. The Lavandas Trianon is basically like lavender milk. It is a creamy, fluffy, powdery lavender and milk, like chocolate milk, strawberry milk. This would be lavender milk. Phenomenal, phenomenal, super cozy. My absolute favorite. Um, it's just such a shame that they discontinued it, but if you have it or you come across it, yeah, it's great. But don't pay a fortune, it's ridiculous. You know, maybe I can get Dapper to make a version of that. I know he made Oud Bouquet because it was discontinued, but maybe I can get him to do a version of that because he does a really good job and I, um, you know, maybe I can help him. That would be cool, right? Would that be cool? I think it'd be cool. Okay, next up, um, I had been holding this video off because I was waiting for this bottle to come. I had the sample and was waiting for the bottle and it's by L'Orchestra. This one, oh gosh, I love this. I also have Rose Trombone, but this one is a perfume house. <sighs> they actually emphasize on music. So every fragrance has a musical instrument, then the prominent note, and then they also have a musical piece associated with it, which you can listen to online on their website to kind of, that's supposed to go with the vibe of this fragrance. Now, Piano Santal, it's such a beautiful, woody, vanilla, creamy, milky fragrance. It's so comforting, it's so beautiful, so cozy, creamy, luscious. Again, a great snuggle fragrance. Um, if you're familiar with the Blanche Beat, similar but stronger on the vanilla and a little bit of a woody note to it. So absolutely love this one. Longevity is I'm gonna say adequate. It's your day. It is not a beast, of course, because it's a softer, fluffier kind of fragrance. It's so, so gorgeous. There is a little bit of, kind of like a wants to be ambery, like it's got this woody base to it, but really the prominence is this creamy sandalwood, woodiness, creamy woodiness with vanilla. So, 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 so good. Try to get your hands on Piano Santel. Oh wait, I have a discount code for this one too. I will put it on the screen so I don't screw it up. And they're always in the description box for you. Kind of explaining because um, they're all a little different. With this one, if you order 100 ml, use my code. I'll put it on the screen and then you will get a free 15 ml, which is kind of cool. Cause that's like um, half ounce, it's a really generous, Travel size, 
and then you can actually get two fragrances for that price. Uh, they have quite a few good ones. I really do like the rose trombone also if you're thinking of a second one. They have some good ones. I'll feature more of them, but Piano Santal. Another really good one that's pretty similar is by Carno Barcelona Palo Santo. Now this comes in that holiday advent calendar. If you haven't seen that video, um, it's, I just did that video right before this video. So take a look at that. Um, and this was in there, this mini 15 ml replica. So I was super happy because I had this from a discovery kit. I was really, really loving it. It was on my to buy list. This is a little similar to Piano Santal. Uh, this one, Palo Santo is really getting a lot of hype lately. This one is again, a lactonic woody vanilla, the woody being a Palo Santo more than that sandalwood. There's something a little boozy at the top, but it's, it's not like your typical syrupy boozy fragrance. There's just something that comes across a little alcoholic, a little bit of an alcoholic kind of beverage to it. It has this creamy tonka, vanilla, sandalwood, milkiness vibe to it. That rum at the top does go away and you're left with that beautiful creamy vibe. Pretty similar. I mean, it's more woody and you have that little bit of booziness to it. Just a touch. It's not a very boozy fragrance. So don't worry about that. Really at the opening. It's, it's only there for a little bit because I'm personally not huge on boozy fragrances, but the Palo Santo is this is good. And this one has some really good longevity to it too. It is again, a lighter fragrance. Um, so you're gonna get like your day's worth out of it, but really, really, really love Palo Santo by Carner Barcelona. Um, one more, I really, well actually two more. They don't really have milk in there per se, but they're very creamy milky like. And one of them is, um, I only have the royalty sense decant, is by BDK Parfums Velvet Tonka. Velvet Tonka, oh God. again, has that tonka bean vanilla creaminess to it. There's a little bit of dryness coming from some tobacco, but this one is just ultra creamy, sweet, smooth creamy versus fluffy creamy kind of swirl around you. As the tonka goes a little bit almond-like in this one, tonka, can take on different kind of facets. But this one has a, a slight like almondy nutty kind of vibe to it. I really, really like this one. I always wanted the full bottle, but since I never finished this, I didn't get the full bottle. But the Velvet Tonka is another creamy goodness one you might like. And then from Fragrance Dubois, Santal Complete. This one has also this creaminess from sandalwood. There's no milk in there, but the sandalwood's very, very creamy. There's vanilla and coconut also adding to that creaminess in here. This one's so good. It has a little bit of muskiness to it. Um, it has a slight amber to it, but it really is a more close to you kind of light, cozy fragrance. It, you know, amber in here is not like a booming kind of amber. It's just enough to get a little bit of weight to it. But the Santal Complete, I mean, everyone knows it and loves it, right? It's such a, such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Yeah, creamy. The coconut in here, don't worry if you're not a big fan of coconut, unless you're super, super hyper sensitive to it. To me, the coconut's not very prevalent in here. It just adds this little bit of like white creaminess to it but I happen to be a super fan of coconut. So take that with it, well, if you will. Yeah, I just love Santal Complet. I've had this one for a few years now. It was one of my one of my earlier acquisitions from this house, which I absolutely love and have quite a few. A couple more I'd like to add, but uh, I'm working on it. They're pricey, but Santal Complet. So that is, that rounds up my creamy, lactonic, milky fragrances. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below some that you have that you enjoy, maybe one that you want to try. Let me know. I love hearing your, your voices. And honestly, you guys have great taste too. So I love hearing your opinions and I love hearing your suggestions. I've found a lot of great perfumes from the subscriber base. So please continue sharing with me because you guys are 
amazing. I love you guys to pieces. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.